Welcome to Push TV Media, where we provide the latest news and dancehall related news or anything of that sort. And big up all of the viewers and all of the subscribers that went over Push TV Media. Big up all of the loyal people. Them. To all of the new viewers, please ensure that you click the subscribe button so you can be notified when any new video at all drops. People. And by the thumbnail, you know, don't know what time it is, people. And really and truly, still, you know, they is here well interesting. Because really and truly, based upon the event you're keeping, the person who are the master or who are the head boss get a warning say he never did for keep the event here. And as you can see now, a beating are gone. So, this is pertaining to the Maroon Town Festival that was held in Akompong in St. Elizabeth. So really and truly people, what we're going to do is just really get into the news and then we will a little talk after. At least one person has been killed, several others injured in an altercation involving a policeman in Akompong in St. Elizabeth. About 8 o'clock p.m., a policeman attached to the narcotics division of the Jamaica Constabulary Force was at a night event in a compound. The night event was reportedly a continuation of celebrations to mark the 284th signing of the peace treaty with the British. Pre preliminary reports say that the police who said to be an a compound maroon saw two men in an altercation and attempted to break up the squabble. His attempt was met with resistance. It resulted in one of the men allegedly throwing a bottle in the policeman's direction, hitting him on the forehead. The nationwide news understands that a number of men then stormed towards the policeman, hurling stones and bottle. The policeman reportedly pulled his service pistol and shouted to the man advancing towards him to stop it's alleged that the men still advanced towards him, the lawman resulting in him open fire at the group. Six persons were shot, were shot. Nationwide understand that at least one person had died and the condition of others is not immediately known. So people, as you can see, a little squabble do have go on in a, a compound. Me don't know how to or where really take place still, but... As I can hear from before, the general courier or whatever I mean, they get a little warning and, and thing. And for sure, you, when, it's, uh, when the event about for done the foolishness not, so you can see where the event go on throughout the day, nothing no go on, but as night reach down, foolishness start, people. And really and truly still, you know, me not go bash no policeman and say you are the policeman cause this, because really and truly, if somebody fling all the back in a year, head, you go feel a way. What's if you're there in front of people? You see me? Anybody that can happen to. And them go feel a way. And even still, if you see people coming at you, you don't know if them go kill you based on the time and age in a Jamaica right now. The first thing you go do is just draw out your weapon. You see me? I don't go say none of them right or none of them wrong still in the people. But for sure, your people, this is shaky. You see me? Because a policeman did it. I don't say him for know how he might do him things to him. Because probably this could have avoided based on him pulling him gun and them things. You know. And based on the information received, I hear say all two children get shot. This is alleged. I'm not 100% sure. But I hear say one person dead and the others injured. So this really sad people. If you say, yo, we fight for our rights, we we'll live years. And... It's like we still a fight, said we, because spree these people. By this going on, you know, this coming like is a fight, you know. You see my people? So it's like we still a fight for, we're right, we still a fight for peace. Them little thing, the people. 